What is up everyone? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Gara versus Saitama. Serious punch. I'm loving the manga right now. Is everyone? Super exciting. <laughs> it's really good. So, and I love Murata and how he draws. He's, he's, he's gay, really energetic sort of this fight, like lots of hatching and movement and all this kind of stuff. So it's, um, they're really interesting drawings. So I'm going to attempt to draw this serious punch one when Saitama gets super angry with Gara, and I won't say why this image shows maybe gives away a little bit why so if you don't like spoilers it's not really a spoiler it's just a really cool drawing i guess so landscape page definitely pencil eraser always use pencil eraser for these you can always do ink on top after words okay so let's go we're gonna start with garu right so we've got this um sort of silhouette of garu here and then saitam is launching a punch coming at us really Right, so I'm going to start with Garu because he's like the biggest part. You can just see kind of his head here somewhere, okay? And he's got those two spikes, those two sort of bunny ears. So center point is here and his head is over at this side, right? So I'm going to start and it's super close up so it goes off the top of my page, right? So we'll go down and you want to add like these cracks and spikes and stuff every now and then, right, for his hair. All right, so kind of like here. Right, and the other side of this goes down this way to the middle of his head. So the middle of his head is like here, and we got like two spikes that stick up, and then it goes off this way, right? Off there. So we're, we're looking at the back of his head, right? So we can see like his ear sort of here, right? So it kind of like carves out this way, down and in. And then this may go up here. And like, if you feel the back of your neck, your 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 neck goes up and joins kind of your ear at the back of your skull, right? So, and it this isn't this is just all black, nearly, right? That's how it's drawn. And they put like like gray hatching over the black just to make give it some shadow and all that kind of stuff. So, just so you're aware, so it's all sort of black. It's not really drawn in. But we're drawing the silhouette. So the back of his neck would be like here, right? So it'll kind of come down and then his trapezius comes out there. And then you see like a little bit of his jaw, right? So it comes down that way. And sort of in there, okay? So you don't see much of him. There's all this hatching and stuff that's done in gray. So when this is all colored black. So there's this outside highlight, which I'll draw in. Just for anyone who, so he's got all these cracks and spikes and stuff. All right, and you just want to draw this roughly in. That's all Murata. I don't think he even drew it in. He just like did it with paint or something, maybe digitally. He obviously does some digital stuff because it, it looks quite digital. So this highlight comes down there. And it's all black. And then we've got a highlight over this side, going that way. And then his head kind of comes in here somewhere. So again, we've got like his hair here and we can see like a little bit of his ear. Sort of comes around, down towards his neck somewhere there. And then like the back of his head could be like here. And then like go up that way. And then the other side of his neck here, and then his shoulder or trapezius goes off that way. And there is a highlight, gray highlight all on this. Gray highlight on the ear a little bit here. And sort of coming up this way as well. And lots of, I call them whoosh lines. You know, it's like the back of his neck is like here. It's all hatching and stuff, but you don't have to do that. You could just color it all black and do this gray, and that'd be probably a simpler way of doing it. So, highlight gray highlight here, right? And then his shoulder area, right, where he's got these spikes come across like that. And then we have another shoulder pad that comes across here. And then another one goes out and down that way. 
and then we have gray highlights on these and go down off my page there Over this way, back. It's done real rough, so you don't have to be too careful. Like it's real sketchy and sort of painterly looking. It's it's not like super defined or anything. He obviously goes quite fast. He's that good, you know. Okay, so that's Garrow basically, and you just color that all black. I'll do it digitally because it's quicker for me, um, and you get the same effect. So. Let's go and do Saitama. So the, the fist is here and his head is like down here over these shoulders, right? And you can see the fist, we can't see his arm because there's all this blast of energy. So where to begin? I think we'll start with his, start with his head over here, right? I'm gonna start with his jaw. Right, just to get in the right place. Just above this shoulder, we have his jaw that comes down, kind of around here, right? And it goes up, side of his face, in, around like that. And then this jaw goes up towards his ear. And his ear is here. So most of his face is black as well. So then big bald head comes around this way. And then like, with a bald head, you're like thinking sort of like a balloon type shape, you know, or, you know, like that. And the center line for his face is like here. Right, so then like ear lines, things like this. Lots of different ways of doing this now. But that's all that Marata seems to have done. Right, and then his eyes are like, they're basically circles, right? They remind me of Mob Psycho when he goes 100. So, you know, that kind of thing. And then there's, like, there is some, like, sort of hatching lines inside. spiraling sort of lines around his eye and they're kind of glowing white like so now so then his face is black right so all around this right you've got this sort of zigzag kind of section done with hatching and all in here is black goes around his head And he has these black veins that are going around, but they're gray and black. I'll just do them black just so we can. Look at this kind of stuff. And then all in there is dark. So cape then is probably the easiest way to go next so coming down from his ear we've got his cape that kind of hangs on his shoulder here and it curves up and around back this way right and then he has that clip that holds it on there and then we've got some like fabric lines And these stop here because we've got all these energy lines around the fist. See, it doesn't, we can't sort of see where it's connected to his shoulder. We can see it go behind his head though. So back here. And around this way. Right, so his fist is in here. So we'll just get the rest of his body in first. So that other piece of his cape here, right? Clips this way. 
and then it flows off here. And then we have that button inside and some more fabric lines. Yeah, we can go around it. So his, his cape is kind of flowing out from behind the back of his head. So and goes behind the fist. So let's see. So it'll go. And it's kind of all tattered and because he's been blasted a few times. There's some hatching sort of lines on it like that. And then it's like ripped and torn and stuff back here. Goes up and this will go behind his fist eventually. So it's all ripped and torn and kind of goes off my page there and his fist is in here. So all these kind of lines like that. Right, so you've got like an idea of where his sort of body position is now as well. So, body sort of comes down at an angle this way. Let's zoom in here. Let's to see his neck. It's like all shadowy. Okay, so his his top of his clothing will come across here, all right? And it's kind of there's a rip here, like a zigzag sort of tear. And then it will go across this way and up under here, all right? And then we have that zip, so it's this part of his costume that has that zipper on it. Get the circle there. Um, and then like the back has a box or something there. And then this zipper goes back this way. Like that. And then that white section goes around. Back up to there and then around his back. So we'll try and add some neck anatomy. There's a lot of dark shadow here, so. Let's just add what we can. So I'm going to say there's a neck muscle line going this way, right? And then something else there. And then there should be something else going up this way. Maybe like an Adam's apple sort of thing there. And then like his collarbone will be going up towards his shoulder. So kind of top of his chest or collarbone will be there. And then we can see like the back of his neck and there's some veins here, right? So we might, I might just color this in shadow because I can't actually see much. So it's like, this is all black. Right there, and then like another sort of collarbone line going that way. And this is all in shadow too, so. And it's more like that. Leave a little white line there for his cheek. Some hatching and stuff. Okay. So then his chest and shoulder, so it like chest will go down and up this way. And this is all done real quick, right? So it's done like these sort of bumping kind of lines that just wash up this way. There's not like, there's another tear here. There's not like defined anatomy or anything. You can just see these various bumps in his shoulder kind of around the back here. There's lots of sort of hatching and things and lines going up towards that fist, right? And then like, it's just like all this sketchy sort of hatching lines here because all the energy is going into that fist and that's just the way he draws it. So and then we'll just, I'll do that just because it's, I think it's what makes the drawing really good. So. Just bring this kind of down that way. So that's like the side of his body, kind of defined by all these hatching lines, right? And we can see his belt buckle just here, like a semicircle. And his belt strap going around his back here. That's actually drawn in. 
We could have some more hatching and things there. And like his side of his body. Like here kind of bumps up hit this way. And then ribs and it's all black in here. But we'll just draw it like that, I think. Okay, so we'll attempt to do this fist now. So his fist has all these energy lines on it. I'm going to draw it like a normal fist from a different image and then add some sort of energy around it, right? So the fist is up here, right? So we go the knuckles. So we go up, down, right? Up, down. Like steps or like, like a range of mountains or something just coming around here, right? This will come down. Go around. Same here, goes around, bottom, and up like that, right? So that's like the four knuckles. And then his thumb sticks out, knuckle for the back of the thumb here, goes around, to there, and curves around the top like so. And then you have like knuckle lines there. All these sorts of things. You know, for the fist. Mine's coming up the center. Maybe kind of like that. Maybe like some of the bottom of his hand there. Right? And then all around this is kind of defined by sort of all this energy, right? So it's basically like a rush of white and hatching and stuff. So it's just like this kind of stuff. So and it goes around in a kind of a zigzag sort of pattern, like it just goes around like this. Just all these lines towards Garrow's face, basically. You can't see anything in here. It's just like air being pushed. Right, so the same thing up here. some directional sort of lines and things going back coming out from there if you want like debris and You do as much of that as you want. You can add some energy to maybe his fists as well. So like, like some lines like this sort of coming around. course totally optional You're making this fist look kind of hairy <laughs> just gives it some energy um, and then you like color around that whatever way you want um, what 
Right, so then his other hand is holding um, an orb down here. I won't say what it is because it'll give it away. So we've got like this kind of a circle just curving around here. Right, so he's kind of holding it in the in the palm of his hand just down here. So you can see like his thumb sort of sticking out. Now his thumb is kind of drawn real quick. It's not done with any great detail, right? So his thumb is there. Right, and then we have four fingers just drawn like these sort of shapes like so. Another one here. Kind of look like sausages or something. So one, two, third. There, and then a fourth. And like that. And then the side of his body, we can see his leg coming out here. And that orb has some tubes or something coming out the back. There. Um, and there's some details on that. So circle going that way. Circle on this side of it. And a circle on this side of it. Right there. And then these have inside lines, like an edge line to them. It's like a ridge. circles like this right and then as well like you could do directional lines that way right kind of like that um, and then of course color so that's black that's black bits of gray you can put some energy around his fist hope it's helpful Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.